This is a remarkable story of one of the enduring tragedies of the Holocaust, the shattering of so many families. Parents, brothers, and sisters vanished, their fates unknown. Seven decades later, Anthony Mason reports there's now an effort to piece together the stories before they're lost forever. So these are the original photographs? These are the originals. The pictures from the archives of the National Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington are all of children more than 1,100 orphaned or displaced by the Nazi persecution. This was taken in August of 1946. Mm -hmm. The portraits were taken by aid workers trying to reunite the children with surviving family. Most of them were in hiding during the war. And after the war, they were put into children's homes uh, all over Europe. Lisa Yavni heads a new project called Remember Me. The museum is posting the pictures on its website in hopes of finding out what happened to all of these children. There's a story behind every one of these pictures. Everyone, there's a story. And that is? This is me at the age of 11. Albert Reingewertz stumbled on his own picture on the website. Now living outside Philadelphia, this is his story. That photograph was taken at a French orphanage in 1947. After the war, an American family wanted to adopt him. You didn't want to be adopted. I didn't want to be adopted. I was waiting for my parents. You believed they were going to come back. I was hoping they would come back. Reingewurz's parents, Nachman and Sarah, were arrested in 1942. His father by the Gestapo, his mother by French police. I'll never forget those steps, going up the stairs, and then the knock on the door. My heart was exploding. Did you understand what was happening? Then? Of course I understood. Of course, they were taking away my mother. His father lasted four months at Auschwitz. His mother was listed dead on arrival. Only recently did he discover what that meant. So what you found out was that strictly that they sent her straight to the gas chamber. That's right. How can it feel to be finding out these things now? It's, it's so horrible. You have no idea that that night I wake up and my mind locks up on this and that's it. I, no more sleeping. The Holocaust Museum is slowly learning more and more of these stories. These people have been found. Already more than 230 have been identified and interviewed. My father was an electrician. Raised by relatives, Albert Reingewurz moved to America in 1967. For years, he resisted speaking up. But now... It's my duty. I have to speak. I have to. <laughs> Anthony Mason, CBS News, Havertown, Pennsylvania.